part-time judge who was found guilty of trying to pervert the course of justice has been jailed for 16 months. Constance Briscoe was convicted at the Old Bailey of lying to police who were investigating claims that the former cabinet minister Chris Hewn had passed speeding points to his wife. But today's sentence has been described as racist by the Society of Black Lawyers, as Chris Rogers reports. Constance Briscoe, one of Britain's first black female judges. She now has another addition to her impressive CV. The first serving judge convicted of perverting the course of justice. Briscoe's downfall was her determination to help her friend, Vicky Price, politically destroy her husband, the former energy minister, Chris Hune, by revealing to newspapers that he had persuaded her to take his speeding points on her license. The subsequent police investigation led to the pair, now divorced, being prosecuted. The final chapter in the scandal is Briscoe's 16-month jail term. The sentence is double the eight months that Chris Hewn and his ex-wife Vicky Price each received for the original offence in which he passed his speeding points on to her. It's a punishment that is widely been seen as a message that nobody is above the law. But the Society of Black Lawyers have condemned the sentence as excessive and racially motivated. What it shows is that still in these days we have the resonance of slavery and colonialism and really blatant in your face racism where people can't see what they're doing and that the justice system has a long history of disparity of treatment of black women where we are still overrepresented in prison. Human rights lawyers have told BBC London the sentencing is fair as Briscoe was found guilty on three counts of perverting the course of justice including falsifying documents to explain her role in getting the story into the press. The judge made it quite clear that this was three counts of perverting the course of justice she was found guilty of and that she is a part-time judge. She disgraced the justice system. I mean, I think he's got to get to see it for what it really is. This is committed as a neighbour, as a woman, on the back end of other people's unlawful behaviour. The Society of Black Lawyers plan to lodge a formal complaint. Meanwhile, the BBC has learned Briscoe faces further inquiries over her actions during a libel case brought against her by her own mother. Chris Rogers, BBC London News.